What's up guys, Vince Ruddy here, and my flight is literally in a few hours. I'm not even supposed to be recording, I'm supposed to be packing, but I just made this video because I thought you wanted. Also, I, you, I don't even know what last videos I should make. Like, that's what I should be thinking, like, what la I should be making videos, so, you know. But then again, I don't even know how the internet there is in, in, in Europe, but, you know, I... I Man, I really don't know. The thing is, is that this is my second take, and here I am just talking about a few news that just happened. You know, I'm biased as usual, but I don't know. I really don't know. I wanted to make a more peaceful version of that last one because I was just ranting, and I just feel like it's just getting tiring with the amount of rants that I go on about. So, I mean, here I am. <laughs> Might as well just, you know, be a bit more low-key, I guess. And if I go rant, I will rant. But does anybody, you know, is, is going to miss me when I'm gone? Like, especially when I'm, you know, making a few videos here and there. Will, will anybody care? I don't know. I don't know. You know, pretty much this channel, the Discord and everything has been so unactive to the point where I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> But here I am. And hopefully, you know, I'm not going to be here, especially, you know, Halloween and Election Day. I don't even celebrate Halloween, especially in this channel. But also, when it comes down to Election Day, I hope things are different. I don't really report anything, but since I talk a bit about politics here and there, uh, who knows who will win, you know? Hopefully, the country doesn't go into full flames. I mean, will Trump win? Will Harris win? I don't know, man. I don't know. I got a feeling that Trump might win with all the amounts of like him dodging bullets and stuff like that. Freaking Mission Impossible. But with Kamala, I'm like, well, at least Trump doesn't have to, you know, we don't have to waste our, you know, tax money on security for Trump. But then again, I don't even know about Kamala because the inflation. Where is anyways? Anyway, I don't even know. I don't even know where, where I'm at with that. But, uh, you know. As much as I've been talking about everything, it just never really changed me of just reading webtoons and doing the amount of videos I've been doing. Hopefully this channel's still around. That would suck if another termination happens here. But, you know, I'm hoping I'm still here. You know, I hope that, you know, even though, like, you know, I've been taking a break. And I feel like this is kind of like a sign of God that I needed a break. I need, you know, to take a small hiatus knowing that. I just haven't really been happy. And I don't know if you can tell. I mean, you probably could tell with the amount of Vince Talks if you've seen all of them. But it just seems like, yeah, I'm just not really happy as I usually am at all. I'm not sure how this vacation would change me. But, I mean, we're just going to wait and see. I'm excited. First time in Europe. Um, never really been there. Uh, excited to see my extended family. And also... Yeah, I might vlog here and there about it. Uh, right now, I'm here getting prepared. I might have to unplug a lot of stuff from s still seeing my you know laptop here and stuff like that. But I have to unplug a lot of stuff. But yeah, hopefully you guys are behave when I'm gone. It's going to be until like Thanksgiving that I'm back. That's a long vacation. Like as of right now, in a few hours, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of the U.S., and when I come back, hopefully things are not exploding everywhere. I'm kidding. Um, but, um, yeah, so the Asmin Gold situation, I want to update on that. He apologized. Apparently, he is uh, stepping down from his leadership, and also he made an apology. So there you go. He's uncanceled. That counts, right? Or maybe not. Maybe he's pretty much still canceled, and maybe he's still at, at it with his antics and stuff like that. But then you go to the other side of the coin. It's like it's no different. Like there was this lady that I saw on TikTok that was removing a bunch of Greek flags because she thought it was a bunch of Israel flags and she's a pro-Palestinian or something like that. Like a protesting for the genocide happening over there in, in um, Israel. And then pretty much, yeah, yeah here, here she is removing Greek flags. And I was worried. I was like, wait, Greek? I'm, I'm, I'm going to go there. Is there a... Is there something going on in Greece? I was, I was like, no, she's just too dumb to know, to tell which flag is which. So no matter where you turn, it's it's like almost the internet is feeding just the amount of fire and the flames of just these, these people. I was like, come on, guys. 
Do what do do what I do. Step out. <laughs> Touch grass. You don't need to go to Europe. You can just touch grass. You can have your own Europe right there in your backyard, damn it. But anyways, yeah. Uh, more craziness happening. I was so angry when hearing about that, the whole news. Because th these were just innocent people that were making coffee. Their English wasn't that good. And they were just going out like, what are you doing? And they said, like, Greeky, which I guess that's how you say Greece and, like, Greeky? Like, like, and I, I believe the English, I guess, they're saying is not that good. Especially in an area where there's a lot of Greeks. And yeah, she was like, oh, my bad. <laughs> and what, what did she do? Like she did something else after that, like spray painting uh, and still going at it, even though it was like, that's not, I don't know, maybe people made that up or something. But uh, what is true nowadays? I don't freaking know. I need a break from the internet. Kind of like my boy here that pretty much is taking a break right now. I mean, there's a lot of people that are taking a break from the internet or maybe going a hiatus. That's what it feels like for me. But also... Like, you know, there's this YouTuber I follow, this VTuber, I guess, that I've been watching for the longest time. His name is Mr. Underhill, and he is taking a full hiatus, especially after, like, you know, November 2nd. He said he's done. He's gone. And I don't blame him. I've been, I, I feel like I've been done and gone, you know, for a long time at this point. But he was like, you know, he's like, it's, and it felt like it's nothing new i've been seeing this a lot from a lot of channels but yeah he said he's like done and gone if you never heard about mr unhill i don't think it's there's any point of actually discovering him i'm not even a big enough channel to actually give him a shout out or anything but um that's that that's hard to see i was and i know and i'm very familiar with how his whole journey is mental health wise it's like this, you know, is he talks about he never gets a break and complains of this, this and that. And I feel like a lot of it is true. And I understand where, you know, he's going because it almost feels relatable to me in a sense. Uh, but, uh, what you know, there's this other channel that is just not taking a break. Just deleted this whole channel. Like, I just want to talk about this. I'm kind of worried of talking about it because I feel like this is this guy just goes at everyone. But. As a small channel, I don't think he's going to pick on me compared to him picking on other instant channels that are also his friends. And then just out of nowhere, he just goes at him. Review Tech USA deleted this channel of a million subscribers. I'm like, dude, why, 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 why these people exist? I can't believe it. Like he has been spiraling down, not only for his hate of God and also his, you know, lack of taking care of his family or something like that. Because I see I saw that clip. Or it's just that he's ignoring his wife or, you know, just telling his wife, like, I'm doing something important. And he's just streaming. I was like, dude, occupy your family. But other people said that and he never listens. So here he is going at it, uh, calling everyone out. And pretty much I don't know who. Listen, there's a lot of streamers from what I noticed, especially talking about Review Tech USA and also him, you know, you know, tech himself, that. It seems like that they just have a lot of hours to stream. I mean, I can't stream that long. Are you kidding me? An hour? Shoot, I fall asleep. Or I get drained out because I'm using my vocals a lot to the point where, uh, you know, I could run out of liquids and then here I am dry heaving, you know, after an hour. But then they, they go for so long. It's like y'all don't get tired of this talking this freaking long. Like, damn, I've been, I'm, I'm tired already. Maybe because I've been also working a couple of stuff here and there before I leave. And here I am recording a podcast, recording a Vince talk for you guys. But so I'm, I am somewhat, I don't know if you can tell, but I am a little bit winded. But they just go long and long. This one streamer, what is it, 8-Bit Eric, that just streamed for like six or seven hours straight of talking about the whole entire stream of him like like how do you have that much time i get that they live alone and stuff and they have all the time in the world and that's their choice man i can't imagine that type of talent you know might as well run a marathon <laughs> like they're going on and on i was like i don't even know what else they're talking about other than like damn rich is a terrible person and it seems like he is because you know even though you're showing him love like that one comment that you know give to he you know, that rich red and pretty much just dissed the guy for just saying like, yeah, I know what you're going through. I know. And then rich was like, go F yourself. That's what he literally said. There was a video of it somewhere talking about it. But this has just been a journey. And what he's going through worries me because it just reminds me bit by bit, like at a kind of sense, you know, and it's hard to, you know, really think about that. And I don't like knowing that's true. But 
the patterns are just so evident. It's, it, I'm kind of worried. And I'm worried for like whatever future that America holds because it seems like so far I'm not giving good energy in this in this you know Vince talk. But let me let me go a little bit back. Let me give you some good energy, okay? Donald Trump is working for McDonald's. There, you were happy? No, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, I don't have anything good. I don't even know what games I've been playing. The thing is, is that I was gonna give you some gameplays here and there, but the I mean I have way too much games. I can't freaking you know, record three new games as I'm about to leave. Like, I'm not going to bring my laptop with me unless I'm streaming it from my, you know, my mini Steam Deck. <laughs> then that's a different story. But other than that, I don't know. Man, I've been so excited for this trip, you know, this Italian trip to the point where I <laughs> I actually downloaded Assassin's Creed, <laughs> the Ezio Auditore collection. There is two movies in that freaking like first off it has three games and two movies what was the two movies for that that is so pointless the two movies you i thought they were games like assassin's creed ambers no nope, that's a movie that's a long like you know and it's a cool one it's about like the afterlife about Azio Adatore. but then you have the the beginning called the assassin's creed lineage and it's a live action assassin's creed type i'm like what what is this Ain't no way I'm watching this in the plane. This is, this hurts me. <laughs> Cause I thought it was a game. I thought it was like, oh, two new games from Atsio Editori from the Assassin's Creed that I never played that are not in other, like, like I can't play the ones on PS5, PS4. I mean, no, no PS, yeah, PS5 and PC, you know, the big boys, freaking Valhalla. I want to play that, Origins. Gosh, I wish I can play those, but here's the problem. I'm poor. You think I have a freaking $10 million PC and also PS5? Shoot, I wish. I wish. I wish I had that money. Man, I, I hope I make bank when I come back. I've been trying to make enough, and it's not even enough when I was about to leave. I've been working, and that's why there hasn't been... Well, actually, there's been videos, but not much as I usually want it to be. As you can tell, there's not a lot as I'm uploading right now. But, man, I was really wanting to actually... Get some content done here, but I've been too busy not only with the pack and you know, you know, preparing for the trip, but also working hard enough because I don't want to be broke when I go to Europe. I'm trying to work hard enough to actually get enough money, enough euros, so that I'd be a okay. Okay, I want to try everything there, and I heard it's like affordable. I know it's affordable compared to Asia, that's for sure. When my trip to Asia, remember that in Singapore, Philippines? Oh man, <laughs> it's like it's like nine day almost, but yeah, anyways. Hopefully you guys behave, especially over there in Discord. I mean, it's been silent and dead over there in Discord. So, whatever. Nothing has been going on there, even though I try to let my, you know, my the mods in there let them know. But I don't even think they're active at all. <laughs> like, how busy it is for some of these, you know, for like, you know, especially students. And I have a lot of students in my audience. How busy is your life? Like, what the heck is happening? Are you busy to the point where, like, like you're just, like, you just don't afford to actually, you know, even hear me? Am I annoying? I don't know what's happening. Listen, with the live streaming thing, that's also terrible. Because I've been trying to live, you know, I've been live streaming as, you know, I did my last one before Italy. Um, but, yeah, and it's pretty much, I, I only got one person in there. That's it. It's sad. It's, it's like, what is... What's the point of ever recording 18 content related or making YouTube videos? I just do it because it's kind of like to the point where I've been making so much, it's muscle memory. But also, I just don't want to lose subs. But then again, you kind of deal with the price of just like, well, no one's here. <laughs> um, Anyone? Yeah. Unless it's like making me making a boyfriend's video or making like, a, you know, whatever series you're into that you're a fan of but yeah not me apparently i don't know and that's why i need a break that's why i need a hiatus but the thing is is that i don't want to lose you guys so time after time i probably might post some stuff at the community page or maybe my instagram or maybe you know discord maybe maybe because internet i don't know about my internet provider over there in europe so that's a different story but anyways i'll see you when i see you and I'll be back before you know it. Uh, pretty much not, you know, there's a good portion of this fall that I'm not going to be around. That's for sure. Because I'm going to be busy. And I mentally need it. You know? But also, yeah. Prayers. 
pray for me. You know, God's good. And I'll see you when I see you. One love and a peace and God bless.